and good morning good afternoon good evening guys whenever you're watching this video welcome to the bitcoin family youtube channel uh, for the newcomers my name is didi to happy father's day to all the fathers i didn't want to make a video today on father's day i did already a live on father's day but my whole mailbox and dms are completely full with questions didi are we going to crash below 30k is bitcoin over is the bull run over that is why i just want to make a very short 10 minute video to show you what i think so i don't need to answer all those direct messages and yes i'm enjoying my father's day to the fullest i am having a beautiful time it's a little bit cloudy so that's why i said okay let's make this video now let's jump into the charts really quickly Here we have the first chart guys let's take a look at this chart this is the one hour chart on the one hour chart i'm going to zoom in we can see that we found a little bit support around that level over there and that line is the line for me that shows me that we are not going to crash at the moment we are finding support at the 33k level we're going up a little bit on the one hour chart this huge green area down here is the biggest area of support between 30k and 33k i don't think we will break that because if you look to the left every time we found support in that area i don't think we are breaking this uh, yes we saw that death cross on the day chart but like you saw on the videos previous videos i think it's lagging behind and almost at the moment we have the dead cross the price is going up that is what i'm showing with this line here is the bottom and the price is going up yes here was the dead cross now somewhere today but the price has already been going up and i think we keep going up that is my opinion again we can drop to 30k we can drop to 20k in my opinion we are not at the end of the bull run i'm going to show you now why bam this chart this for me is the chart i'm looking very closely at if we are going to look to what is happening today we have the top line we have the mid line and we have the bottom line the crash that we saw from the top of 60k to this area over here 30k is a 50 percent crash 52 percent crash we pulled back above that line down below the midline this line this line i will show you in the numbers is the 38.2 percent fibonacci retracement line this line is the line we are finding support on not one candle on the weekly chart has closed down below also this candle is not closing down below that line at the moment which is around 36k so we need to see if that one is closing down below that line if we close down below down then we will see if it is the more downwards movement possible but this 50 percent drop over here guys it doesn't feel awkward to me yes it feels awkward always when we crash with bitcoin like that but please let's take a look again at 2017 one more time just to show you how it looked at that moment also there here that moment three thousand us dollar we crashed all the way back down to $1,700, that's a 40% crash. And again, here, at that moment, here, um, at this moment over there, also here, we had a huge crash, 40% crash. Now it's 10% more. I know it's 10% more, it's 50% crash. But still, 10% more or less, we did rebounds. The 40% crash led into that huge insane bull run to the top. The 40% crash led into that huge bull run to the top. Every time when we see these crashes, we freak out. But is there a reason to freak out? Or do you want to zoom out here from the 14K level, bam, to the bottom, a 70% crash? Did you buy that dip? If you bought that dip, you would be hugely in profit. Even if we go back further, guys. Let's go now here, this one. 2013 check this dip from that line there we went to there to the bottom there 70 percent dip we fell with 70 percent and we still did a huge bull run and the beautiful part now is if you look at this 2013 one which i noticed is that the dip occurred around 
um, this one here, May 27th, and then the 3rd of June, we dipped to the bottom over there at 46%, almost 50% from the midline to there. And that was exactly the 3rd of June, and the bottom was in the week of the 15th of July. Now, if we look to that, we found support on the green line, we went a little bit sideways, and then we went above again, and then the bull run came. If we now look in today, that 50% crash, could that be the same thing happening that we saw there? Because we crashed from this line, the one, two, three, fourth from above, to the one down below the midline. Now we crashed from, let's check, one, two, three, fourth line from above to that line down below that midline. So for me, it still is just the middle of the bull run. Why? We didn't touch the top of the line. We didn't touch the top of that line. We didn't top the touch top of that line. We still need to touch the top of that line around 100k. So in my opinion, the crash that we saw there, that 50% crash from May till July, is the same that we are seeing here. That 50% crash. And that will be finding support around that green line that you see over there. As well here. The green line, we will come slowly above that one and then continue to maybe December somewhere where we will see that top. If we do it December, it was December here in 2013, it was December here in 2017, it will be December here in 2021 probably. So that is how I look at the charts and I think that plan B, bam, is looking in the same way at the chart because he's saying Bitcoin is below 34k, triggered by Elon Musk, energy fund and China's mining crackdown. Um, there is a more fundamental reason that we see weakness in June and possibly in July. My worst case scenario for 2021 is a chain based price data. August 47k, September 43k, October 63k, November 98k, December 135k. This is the worst case scenario in, high, in his opinion. For me, it's the same. This is part of the market. Don't freak out, zoom out. If you freak out and you zoom in too much, it looks like drama. If you see only this, it is drama. It is like, oh my God, the market is going to crash to zero. But if you zoom out, it is not drama. And it's part of this four year cycle that Bitcoin will repeat every year, every four years again, because of the halvening and all the other stuff that is built into the Bitcoin algorithm, guys. I, again, I think the drop here from the beginning of June till July, that 50% drop is the same that we saw here now. So yes, we can go sideways a little bit around 30 to 40K, but there will be a moment we will break that midline and go to the top line. Okay, that was everything. A very short update video so that you, bam, understand exactly what I think about the charts, how I look about the charts, why I'm not freaking out, why I'm doing lives with my daughter on a beautiful Sunday on my Father's Day, because I'm not freaking out. It is part of the four-year cycle. I am not seeing a crash to zero. I'm not seeing a crash to 20K, 24K, maybe a week to 29, 28K is what I expect. But who am I? I'm just the guy that says, bam, 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 many times. But for me, part of a four-year cycle, we will go at the, to the top in the end of this year and maybe even into the year 2022. Uh, we don't know for sure. But the important part is you manage your portfolio. You have a huge part that you huddle, you huddle that one and that you huddle for the next four years because maybe in 2025 you will go to a million per Bitcoins and there is a small part like 20% that you trade with. And these moves are perfect to trade. That is what you want. You want the volatile market so you can multiply your Bitcoins. That was everything. I hope you really enjoyed this short update video. I'm very, I'm going to enjoy my Father's Day again now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think about this chart? Thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam!